Hello, my name is Blake, and today we are talking about Hyperloop One and a partnership with DP World to build a new type of cargo pod for the Hyperloop called Cargo Speed. And this is an announcement today uh, that this partnership and the branding of this kind of pod um, will be taking place. Um, just had a news conference, it's early morning here, but I wanna show you their first promo video and then go through some takeaways that I took from the press conference. On demand. Today it's novel, tomorrow it will be expected. The global growth of e-commerce is driving a consumer behavior shift where goods and services are delivered rapidly, immediately. DP World sees the need for an advanced new network to support this future. Throughout history, cargo has always been the catalyst for transport revolutions. Big cargo Today, shipping containers. Virgin Hyperloop One to realize the next leap in transport and make Hyperloop a reality. Pushing the boundaries of innovation, having the courage to do something different. The new cutting edge linear electric motor So this is some footage that we've seen earlier of kind of explaining what the Hyperloop is and how it works. This is new footage. So that's pretty cool. You see shipping uh, containers, standard sizes. You see a whole bunch of solar panels. The, they really emphasize during the press conference uh, the sustainable aspects of this um, and you know how much time it takes to get a um, cargo off of a shipping container. What if the shipping container accidentally falls? You know, what if it's delayed in a port? There's all these other logistical concerns that Hyperloop One will hopefully alleviate um, with their with DP World's new cargo speed pod. So they really want to make uh, these ports a lot more efficient. The synchronized, seamless, intelligent movement of cargo on demand, direct, autonomous. So this is new. We're now looking into kind of a Hyperloop station for cargo speed pods and can deliver exceptional service for high priority. we heard in the news conference that they had to totally redesign uh, a lot of their logistics and their regular ports right now um, cannot handle having you know these hyperloop pods go every six seconds so they had to like totally restart from this you know beginning with first principles of just you know what is what is the cargo that we want to ship you know what does that look like uh, where would it be? And you know, they designed a kind of a new size for these pallets. We've heard. On demand goods at the cost of trucking and the speed of flight. Sustainable operations powered by renewable energy. This uh, goes a lot into moving away from an oil-based transportation economy. Um, we're seeing a, a total reenvisioning of an uh, you know electric vehicle. Uh, based transit cargo system and logistics. Utilizing network capacity for both freight and passengers. Goods are seamlessly transferred to autonomous vehicles while passengers are taken to the heart of the city. Rapid, effortless deliveries and the freedom from having to plan too far ahead. Efficient supply chains that unlock greater capacity for growth. It's what the world demands. Introducing DP World Cargo Speed. So if you notice, uh, this drawing is a little bit difficult to see, but you see two different doors, uh, one on the front, one on the back. And in their renderings inside the terminal, um, you do see uh, cargo being loaded on the front and back, um, you know, kind of on a conveyor belt like a there it is. Like, I would say this is more similar to an airport baggage handling system. Um, so that would be kind of interesting. So now let's go through some of the tweets that I did for 
you know, the live tweeting of this uh, press conference that just happened. Um, all the big names were there. Uh, it, was, it was really impressive um, to see kind of a, a good history of uh, the partnership. And, uh, you know, it lasted for, you know, quite some time. So uh, DP World hosted it. Um, we see the two doors and the new branding of this cargo passenger pod. Richard Branston, um, you know, introduced Josh as, you know, working really hard on the engineering side and being poached from Virgin uh, Trains <laughs> and working on this kind of side new startup project. Um, and they really are focusing on the 13 kilometer test track, uh, Moon de Pumba, Mumbai de Poon uh, test track that will be, um, I don't know, they just, they mentioned that quite a bit. Uh, cargo Speed is a pod based on the same platform as passengers, but more for palletized cargo. Um, they did, a, uh, DP World did a study and found that the port needs and challenges are more for lightweight cargo electronics, um, produce speed of flight, but the cost of trucking. That was mentioned a couple times. Um, Rob Lloyd also um, discussed the demand of e-commerce economy and how that will grow. Um, there'll be new standard for direct pod delivery, a shift um, from, moving, from moving cargo in sea containers. Um, some good slides. Uh, they went into a little bit about the engineering. Um, unfortunately, I, it went by pretty quick. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it went pretty quick. Uh, low passenger, it's basically like what Hyperloop One has developed in the Nevada desert. Um, the Indian um, test track will really flush out a lot of uh, other information on just the technical requirements um, of a Hyperloop system. Um, again, they mention you know zero direct emissions, uh, which is in alignment with many different Middle Eastern countries and, and making a new vision for their sustainability, um, Vision 2021 in this case. Uh, Real-time tracking, uh, they also emphasize that it, it's a multimodal logistics center for each port, um, and you know that's that's good. Uh, they really weighed uh, pros and cons of high-speed rail and what if that were built in these countries. And DP World um, really wanted to look for new options instead of building a high-speed rail route. And cargo is not typically you would use in high-speed rail. Um, so this Hyperloop really does fulfill a lot of needs of, um, you know, faster than high-speed rail, a little bit less money than high-speed rail, and you can do cargo. Um, they really emphasize the need for reduced inventory, um, and that has kind of the long tail effect of reducing uh, production costs. And I found that kind of interesting. Uh, so reducing the amount of stock, as I said, um, they really, um, Josh and Hyperloop One and Rob have the vision of anywhere in this economic region called the GCC um, in under two hours. Uh, the Hyperloop in this region connecting the Gulf uh, to the Red Sea, you know, really can, um, be really attractive as kind of a backbone and a proof of concept for the rest of the world. Um, Hyperloop One has been working with the Saudi Kingdom for about five months, and we heard at the very end that Richard Branson wants, uh, uh, well, you know, this will be another kind of place where the Hyperloop will be built. Uh, more announcements on that will be made in, in the next couple months, I think. Um, so Hyperloop India will be the first place um, uh, where the Hyperloop will be built um, starting in first quarter 2019. The Indian government wants to move even faster, so I think Hyperloop One is speeding up their engineering in that regard. Um, but then it might happen in Emirates, Saudi, Dubai. Um, again, it's two-thirds th less cost than rail, smaller footprint, um, and that uh, makes it more lucrative to have both uh, return on investment when you have the cargo question um, sorted out. 
So DP World really kind of approached Hyperloop One on making a cargo specific pod. Um, no dollar amounts were released um, in that regard, but the the idea of DP World really branding their own pod, um, I think, has sped up the development um, process. Uh, so, a question about Mumbai? Definitely full, you know, certification 2020. Um, they will also be using the cargo speed pods first before passengers. Um, I think that's really interesting. In DP World, um, it was mentioned that they have about six ports already in India. So that would be a natural first use of this um, technology. And that kind of wraps up. Thank you for joining. We'll be staying tuned for more uh, updates on other locations where um, these DP World cargo, pod, cargo speed pods will be happening. And um, stay in tune. Uh, look forward to more exciting announcements about Hyperloop around the world. Um, thanks for joining.